So welcome to the second tutorial in the Bootstrap series. In this video we're going to be looking at creating a navigation bar. So if I show you the example, we're going to be creating this white bar that goes along the top and we'll be including this drop down and also making sure that it's responsive when we go into mobiles and things like that. So this is pretty simple but it's going to be a, a little bit confusing but it shouldn't be too bad. So the first thing we want to do is create a div with a class of navbar and then close off this div so everything is going to be going inside here to clean it up a bit um, and we're also going to create another class for this which is navbar dash fixed dash top now what this is going to do is going to just keep it at the top and when you scroll it will always be at the top next thing we want to do is create a div with a class of navbar Dash inner. Now this is just something that's required for the navbar and all of your content must go in here again. And then inside here we're going to have another div and this is going to be the container. Now the container it basically manages that um, the re responsiveness so that when you resize it this container will adjust its size. So everything will go inside this container so that it kind of its width will change depending on the resolution if that makes sense. If it doesn't then it will make sense soon. Okay so inside the container is where everything will go. Uh, the first thing we want to do is create the branding section. So this is the section that is going to show the title of the site. So this in this case is just going to be a href is equal to hash class is equal to brand and these are styles that have already been created in that bootstrap file and that's equal to brand slash a and then here we're going to go frustration host save it and we'll come over here and look at our preview and you can see we've got the navbar there and we haven't even done any CSS and obviously that's a link right so the next thing we want to do is create the navigation and its responsiveness so for this what we're going to do is we're going to create the button that will appear when we're on mobile when we're on mobile so it's this button here so to create this what we'll do is uh, in a container just above the branding section we'll create an a class equal to btn uh, btn dash navbar I'm going to read off my other screen for my notes by the way uh, data toggle, not fat, data dash toggle, and set this equal to collapse. Now, what this is going to do is just uh, telling it what to toggle when we press this button basically. That's the easiest way of explaining it. And data dash target is going to be equal to dot and then nav dash collapse. Now, this will make sense in a minute while we're using this, but basically, what it's going to do is this class is the same class that we're going to be using on the bit that's going to open and close if that makes sense so we're going to have slash a after that and then here bootstrap has built in icons so they have these things called glyph icons so if I were to go into back onto this screen and on, on the bootstrap site you can go into base CSS icons and you can see every single icon here now these are all classes so for this we are going to be using the little icon called uh, Icon Tasks. Um, I don't think that's the one I used before, but I think we'll use that one this time instead. Didn't actually see that one before, but I like it. So Icon Dash Tasks. So to use icons, we use the I character, and this must be inside our anchor tags. So we use I and close it off. And then we set the class equal to Icon Dash Tasks. Save it and run it in Chrome you see this button and it's got that task button but obviously nothing happens so we can drag that over to the screen now okay so the next thing we want to do is actually create the collapsible area okay so we're going to create a div with a class equal to nav dash collapse just like that and it's also going to have another class of collapse now remember we had dot nav collapse and this is basically a class of nav collapse and that is what we're using here. 
So now close that off, and inside here, what we're going to put is an unordered list. Now this unordered list is going to be for our navigation items. So just set the class equal to nav. And one more thing, actually we'll come back to that. Uh, well, you are allies, sorry. And these allies will have a href equals and then hash like that. And I'll just duplicate these a couple of times. So home product, as you know, hosting. Uh, let me see what other ones I had. Home packages. Uh, about and contacts. So now if I save this and I come back to here, you can see we've got home packages about and contact. Now to bring this over to the right, uh, the navigation over to right, Bootstrap makes that really simple. So to do that all we need to do is add a class to this nav of pull-right and this will pull any, any element over to the right, so that's basically floating over to the right. Refresh, and there it is. So that was really simple. Uh, next thing we want to do is make this one sort of indented because that's the page we're currently on. And the bootstrap, this is called being active. So this is a simple way to do li class is equal to active. Save that, and we will refresh, and you see that's now active. Um, if we pull this in. You see we've got this drop down with all of our buttons and that's working all really nicely. So you see it works perfectly for mobile. Next thing you want to do is this drop down for the packages section. Now this is where it gets slightly confusing but it shouldn't be too bad. So what I'm going to do is open up some space here in this ally. Um, first we're going to do is set ally equal class drop down. And then here we're going to have a link that will toggle the drop down. So a class is equal to drop down toggle. By the way, I am working through this quite quickly, but most of it you should be able to pick up quite easily. Um, data toggle is equal to, and then this is going to be drop down as we are toggling a drop down. And then the href, which is just going to be hash, so that it stays on the same page, which is what we obviously want it to do. So in here we're just going to go packages, and don't forget to close off your anchor tag. And also inside this anchor tag, we're going to have an i class is equal to caret, and this is going to give us that little arrow next to it. And don't forget to close it off. So now if we save that, refresh, you see we've got that little carrot sign next to it. And also I'll put a space here just to give it some room. Okay, now under here, what we're going to put is our actual uh, list of items. So this bit is pretty simple, we're just going to go UL. And inside here, we're just going to close it off. And we just put li slash li. And of course, a href is equal to like that. And I'm just going to set the a href equal to hash. And we'll do shared hosting dedicated server. VPS hosting and email hosting. Like that, quite simply. So now, if we open this up and we refresh it, now you see it's coming out like this. Now, if we go back to here, the reason this is is because UL class equals drop down this menu. So that's giving us all of our styling and everything. Refresh it and it's all working perfectly. Now these are proper links, we just want to change those hash, uh, to hashtags to proper links. The next thing, we're, uh, in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at 
uh, the hero unit which is this large unit over here which is going to have all of our content so also one more thing this is all fully responsive so you see this opens out nicely so that's it for this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found it useful and i'll see you in the next tutorial